स्टूडेंट्स स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड फॉर इंग्लिश मीडियम लेट्स बिफोर वी गो अहेड वी हैव टू रिवाइज लिटल बिट व्हाट वी लर्न स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट सेशन वी लर्न अबाउट क्विज टाइम देन वी लर्न अबाउट इंडिया सुपर लेडीज आफ्टर दैट वी लर्न अबाउट फेमस पीपल एंड अनदर वी लर्न इंडियन स्पोर्ट्स स्टार्स about uh, this information we learned in last lessons now today you will learn chapter number 29 30 31 and 32 in 29 you will get general information general okay and the first information given about measuring units so let's before wasting time we have to understand it the first question is given as a given say Frequency of sound is measuring. Frequency of sound measuring students. You have to remember the answer. Frequency of sound is measuring. H E R T Z. Okay. Frequency of sound is measured in hertz. So I hope you understood this very well. Okay. Next question. body temperature is measured in body temperature is measured in then you have to remember the answer fahrenheit in help box you can see g option fahrenheit next question number 3 amount of milk is measured in amount of milk is measured in you know students milk is liquid form so when any liquid form at that time you have to write its answer as liter l i t r e okay students remember this thing l i t r e liter now in exam what you will remember students here in exam you have to remember this thing here l i t and here some students are doing mistake doing e r it's a wrong so remember this thing r e okay understood next question length of cloth is measured in length of clothes you know students if any length come at that time the measurement will count in meter okay and uh, in this also you have to know the spelling m e t meet and then r meter here also some students are doing mistakes so remember if you will remember like this meter because it's pronounced is like the meter so you will do like this so it's a wrong so remember r e okay understood next heat is measured in heat garmi students heat is measured in joules j o u l s students j o u l e s joules here s compulsory have to write students so remember this thing okay heat is measured in joules next question purity of silver is measured in purity here purity of silver have to write you will you will not write here gold purity of silver is measured in here given silver if gold given then answer will come different but here silver given at that time if you have to write answer then have to write percentage okay purity of silver is measured in percentage remember this thing students purity of silver percentage in per okay per and sen c e n percent and tech t a g e okay understood per sen tech remember this thing okay next electric current electric current is measured in it's very simple answer is that 
electric current always measured in ampere okay a m a m p e r e m for okay i hope you understood this very well understood next fruit are weighted here students fruit vegetables okay these are weighed in then it's a easy and simple answer is there fruit it's a weight thing so how you will attain this answer its answer is there in help box you can see ki lo and then gram okay students kilo gram i hope you understood this very well next see students again upside upside see students upside here purity of gold in a uh, question number 6 in question number 6 we have seen silver okay if silver come then percentage in gold what you will write answer in gold you have to write answer carat okay what you will write in gold carat c a r a t carat when gold come at that time you have to write carat and silver come then percentage remember this thing okay next distance distance between two places when any distance if you will discuss about then always distance measured in kilometer this spelling also you have to remember students properly okay see ki lo meter m e t and then r e here also remember this thing r e okay if you write e r then wrong happen students so remember this thing understood i hope you understood this very well okay understood students let's one time repeat from help box the first answer is hertz second answer is fahrenheit third answer is liter fourth one is meter fifth one is joules and six is percentage seven ampere eight kilo uh, gram and nine carat 10 kilo meter okay i hope you understood this chapter very well now next chapter is 30 about sports okay what is there in this sports here some athletics game given students so using uh, help box we have to identify athletic events and write their names so let's we have to understand it properly see the first game given as mm, here 3 and more than 3 girls are running and uh, also you can see hurdle okay between two legs you can see hurdle and they are jumping means this game is belong to hurdle racing students so you have to choose which answer hurdle racing option f f option you have to choose okay understood now next game is here next game second number c one girl is there and in her hand one iron ball is there okay so this game is belong to short put okay and uh, it's a answer also have to remember how to write short c s h o short and put p u t this you have to write properly understood students i hope you understood this very well next third game here one person something is throwing okay means in his hand something is there so what is this that is known as javelin okay that's known as javel javelin so you have to choose answer b answer okay from help box understood students now next next picture is here you can see one person one who jumping uh, and 
going on other side okay and uh, you can also see a very big stick in his hand so which game is that students you have to identify it's known as pole jump it's known as pole jump remember this thing okay it's known as pole jump students understood see here here you pole pole you can see pole and here one stick is there in his hand so it's known as pole okay and he pole and jump j u m p jump understood students now next fifth number see here students one one boy one who is jumping and here one stick you can see that's have to pass away so first jump and have to pass so with this activity we can identify this person is taking high jump and have to pass away so the answer we have to choose c option high jump okay understood students next six number c here this uh, here this person is in air means this person is running and uh, one type of air okay from here to here have to take jump so according to picture you can see this person is taking jump so right answer will come as long jump we have to choose g option okay g option have to choose understood students now next seven see here in seven uh, here there is something is there in his hand and with great force this person is throwing means taking round and round and then have to throw means what type of hammer is there in his hand so what's the answer will come we have to write here answer hmm? in help box you can see in option a option a is a hammer throw so this game is belong to hammer throw i hope you understood this very well next last and final game is there uh, see some okay some human beings are uh, running here understood so it's uh, easily answer you can get okay they are running so the right answer will come as running but which game is, is this following means 100 meter racing students remember okay 100 meter racing okay so d option have to choose d option understood i hope you understood this very well okay next next 31 chapter it's about sports here the national games given uh, there also some pictures of national games given of different countries and here we have to write its a name okay which country is belong to which game so see pictures given here the first picture is given okay for hockey students see and hockey is belong to which country students it's easy okay from d option you have to choose and answer have to write okay india hmm? i n d i a and india have to write here the right answer is india okay students now next second number game is baseball this baseball is belong to which country it's easy and simple it's belong to belong to u s a okay students right answer now third see cricket cricket is belong to which country cricket you know you all are interested to play cricket but belong to which country it's belong to england because its invention happened in 
England. So that's why the right answer is England. Okay. Next, football. Football is belong to which country, students? Football. Uh, you all know. Uh, rarely you can see this game, but we have to know that in which country this belong to. This uh, belong to Brazil. P R A R A Z I L. Okay, Brazil. Understood, students? I hope that you understood this very well. Brazil. Then next, table tennis. Table tennis is belong to which country, students? Table tennis. It's a very famous game. Many many students are try to play these games because it's belong to China. Okay, it's belong to China. So you have to choose answer China. Okay. Now next six number volleyball. Volleyball here many uh, students people want to play this game, but they don't know. to which country this belong to so this is belong to uh, a very uh, uh, one type of sport is there and uh, it's belong to sri lanka okay it's belong to sri lanka okay so remember it's the answer understood now next Seven number, you know. Here some people are playing with hockey. You can see here hockey, hmm? but it's known as ice hockey because it's play in ice. So we have to understand where it's play. Students, it's the right answer is Canada. C A N A D A Canada. Hmm? Remember these things, okay? Next, last and final game is there chess. Chess is belong to Russia. Remember, Russia. You will not read it. Russia. R I S A. Okay. R U W S I A. Russia. Hmm. I hope you understood this chapter very well. Next, revise little bit. Here, help box. You can see. Hmm. The first answer is India. Second answer is USA. Third answer is England. Fourth answer is Brazil. Fifth answer is China. Sixth answer is Sri Lanka. And seventh answer Canada. Eighth answer is Russia. Hmm? Now next, beautiful India. Hmm? Our India, you know, very beautiful country. Why? Because in this country, uh, you can see different types of cities. and because of city our india get the higher place in the whole world so let's see new names of indian cities when british one who left india in 1947 many cities were renamed okay so here some cities given and their new names here we have to write see the first is kolkata its pronunciation like this kal Kolkata. Okay, and another thing you have to remember that the new name Kolkata is getting as Kol and Kata. Remember the new name of Kolkata is Kol Kata. Understood? I hope you understood this very well. Next Madras. Madras. It's a Very old name. Now new name is belong to Chennai. C A G double N A I Chennai. Okay. So remember, new name of Madras is Chennai. Okay. Next, Bombay. Bombay is very famous city, but today and in past, which name was there? In ancient time, its name was Bombay. Okay. now it's a name change and new name have for as mumbai m u m b a i mumbai okay understood i hope you understood this very well 
नेक्स्ट बैंगलोर ओके बैंगलोर न्यू नेम ऑफ बैंगलोर इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट नेम बट यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर हियर बी एंड बैन एंड ग मीन्स जी ए लुरु हियर यू हैव टू राइट आर यू ई बैंगलुरु रिमेम्बर दिस थिंग ओके हियर एल ओ आर एंड हियर एल यू आर यू सो रिमेम्बर दिस थिंग ओके नेक्स्ट कोचिंग कोचिंग वॉट्स इट्स न्यू नेम कोचिंग दैट सी इन हेल बॉक्स ऑफ योर बुक कोचिंग हियर स्पेलिंग गिवन सी ओ सी एच आई एन राइट आंसर फ्रॉम हेल बॉक्स यू टू चूज कोचिंग ओके कोचिंग रिमेम्बर दिस थिंग स्टूडेंट्स को ची इट्स राइट आंसर ओके नाउ नेक्स्ट बरोडा इट्स नियर सिटी सो एंशियन नेम वॉज बरोडा एंड न्यू नेम वॉट्स द न्यू नेम यू नो आई ऑल्सो नो दैट इट्स नोन एज व वी ए व देन डो डी ओ डो व डो एंड देन द ओके रिमेम्बर दिस थिंग व डो द Hmm? Okay, understood. Next seven is Benares. In old name was Benares. Also, we can say that Benares. Also, according to spelling, we can say that. What's the new name of Benares? Uh, here B given C. Now in spelling will come B. B A R V A V A R A N A S I. Okay, V A R A N A S I. I hope you understood this very well. Next, last and final question is that it's very very important. Visa ka patnam. You will read like visa ka patnam. Visa ka patnam. Visa ka. You will not read because it's a new name. Visa ka. The old name was visa ka. Okay. See the new name. How you will attend this? The new spelling is like this. V I. Okay. Then sa s a v sa and ka k a c a. Okay, v sa ka hmm? means k a c a. You have to know very well k a c a. Then patna means the same as pa ta na. Hmm? Same as usual. I hope you understood this very well, students. Hmm? So at last, I am telling you. Let read for help box. In first, you have to write Kolkata. Second is Chennai. Third is Mumbai. And uh, fourth one is Bengaluru. Fifth one is Kochi. Six is Vadodara. And seven is Varanasi. Eight is Visakha Patanam. Hmm? Okay. I hope you understood these all chapters very well. And uh, I hope you will write these all chapters. In your notebook and in book also. In next session we will see another chapters. So take care and thank.